Hello, beloved. This is Tracy L. Moore, a.k.a. The Purposeful Poet, bringing you spiritual truths through poetry. I also bring you greetings from Chesapeake Christian Center in Chesapeake, Virginia, where life is unlimited. My purpose is to encourage, uplift, and inspire you to be your best for Christ. And I'm here again today with more Motivation on Monday. That's M-O-O-R-E, Motivation on Monday. And the poem for today is entitled, Words, Thoughts, Deeds. The devil works through the words, thoughts, and deeds of people who are in dire need of knowing who they are in Christ, their carnal nature they feed. But their words, thoughts, deeds don't alter God's love for me. I now have truth in the inward parts. I have been set free. Words, thoughts, deeds hurled by the enemy can no longer be used against me. I was blind, but now I see. Words, thoughts, deeds can't touch the anointing in me. I walk in the power of Almighty God. I have come inferiority words thoughts deeds in reality they can't hurt me I stand fast and tall in my liberty God values me infinitely words thoughts deeds they're useless that's my creed they can't thwart God's plan for my life I'll be everything he wants me to be words thoughts deeds can't keep me from my destiny I'm so steeped in the love of God he keeps on blessing me I accept the truth in my heart as a seed and I recognize people can't change me I take authority over demonic activity. I'm not at the mercy of words, thoughts, and deeds. If God be for us, who can be against us? Romans 8 and 31. The devil is always trying to make us forget who we are in Christ. He works through people and takes them captive to do his will, as stated in 2 Timothy 2 and 26. The Bible says he walks around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. However, we don't have to fall prey to the enemy. God has given us the truth in his word. And when we know the word, the devil can't deceive us. The only tool he really has is deception. And the word enables us to be able to discern a truth from a lie. And the power of deception is completely nullified. Hallelujah. You see, the enemy operates by deceiving us into thinking that people's words, thoughts, and deeds can hurt us in some way. He has us thinking that we're at his mercy while he works through individuals that cross our path every day. But if we can get a firm grasp on the truth, we can maintain our righteousness, our peace, our joy, and our sanity as we avoid unnecessary soul wounds. One way the enemy comes at us is through words, spoken through people to provoke us. Words have the power to wound us if we don't know who we are in Christ. However, if we know who we are in Christ, it's like having on a suit of armor. It doesn't get inside of us. It bounces off. That's why the Bible tells us to put on the full armor of God. And Joseph Prince once said that the armor of God is simply a belief system that has the foundation of the word of God. And when we believe right, the enemy can't hurt us with words spoken through people who allow themselves to be used by him as a satanic megaphone. Another lie or deception that the enemy tries to use is to get us to think that people's thoughts can hurt us in some way. I remember when I grasped this truth, my college professor was angry at me because I failed to do whatever he wanted me to do. And forgive me, I can't even remember what it was about. However, he let me know in no uncertain terms that he wasn't pleased. And I remember cowering inside and feeling condemned. And then I suddenly came to my senses and remembered what I read somewhere. His anger can't jump across the room and hurt me. So I calmed down and said to myself, that's your anger. You own it. That's what I meant for him. It can't hurt me. And a peace came over me. And I came to the conclusion, no matter what he thought about me, I was still okay. The takeaway is that when we know who we are in Christ, people's thoughts no longer matter. Finally, sometimes the devil deceives us into thinking that people's actions and deeds can harm us. We may be afraid of their rejection or their ill treatment or their neglect. Maybe we fear their, their retaliation. But as God said to Abraham, he is our shield and very great reward. God has given us numerous scriptures, which he tells us not to be afraid of people because he's our protector and our defender. Psalm 118, 5 through 6 says, In my distress, I called to the Lord, and he answered and set me free. The Lord is on my side. I will not be afraid. What can man do unto me? In other words, we don't have to fear anybody. You don't have to worry about what they can do because God is on your side. He says in Romans 8 and 31, If God be for us, who can be against us? So if you're in a battle where the devil is waging war against you through people, don't fret yourself over evildoers. 
Know that your Heavenly Father will make sure that you are well protected. And when it's all said and done and the dust settles, you will triumph in Christ Jesus. That's God's promise to you. Amen. Now let's go out and make it a good week. And don't forget to check out my blog at TracyLmore.com. And while you're there, you can sign up to receive my bi-weekly newsletter as well. I think it will bless you. Thanks for tuning in. This is Tracy L. Moore, a.k.a. The Purposeful Poet, signing off. And I look forward to seeing you next week. May God bless you real good.